I'm just gonna have you start chopping away. And I'm going to start cutting up all the excess zip board that we have lying all over the place. <laughs> because we need some pieces to go inside of all the headers. Yeah. To make it exactly, you know, five and a half inches wide. Yeah, that half inch matters. <laughs> it, it does. Matters. It does matter. So that's where I'm gonna end up having you basically uh, take care of all the cuts over there. I'm gonna take care of the cuts that we need over here and we should be ready. We should be, uh, you know, slapping this thing together and having it fully up and ready to go. It's not anything massive or anything. It should go about pretty quick. Yeah. It's just, there's a lot of doors and windows. Yeah. So. so Gary and I today are going to be dividing and conquering. Um, I'm really happy that we did so much chitter chatter on the last time that we were working over here and bringing you guys along. Mm -hmm. So that way you guys can know what we're gonna be doing today. And hopefully there will be a lot less questions. However, if you guys do have any questions, I will refer you back to the video that we posted last time, which will be right over there by Gary's head. So if you guys are curious and wondering, well, what are they doing? They didn't say, go watch that video and find out yep. today our main objective is to get the three walls up yes. and for us to be able to move forward with the next step which would be the roofing so take a good look around friends after today this front is not going to look the same ever again i'm ready to go are you ready i'm ready let's get it let's do it
I have gotten both the left and right side walls completely laid out on the top and bottom plates. We've got all of the zip board cut out to sliver in for the headers. Mel is finishing up cutting all the header sizes. She's got all the stud uh, sizes all situated and whatnot. I still have to mark out the top plates for the uh, front side right here, the top and the bottom plates. So, yeah, we're, we're getting there little by little, but we've got a lot of the pieces already all situated. I'm gonna walk away from Mel real quick. I gotta go grab the nails because we're getting to that point. Mel's almost done. And I'm gonna have her start slapping all the, uh, the headers together because those things need to be sort of up. And I would like to uh, be able to start slapping this thing together. It's uh, It's getting closer and closer and closer to it. I'm really excited. I've got to find uh, my nails. <laughs> They're in the car somewhere. We invite you to join a movement that is close and dear to our hearts. As you guys know, the world is full of many choices and a lot of you guys share the same feelings that we have. You wanna support local businesses and buy safe made in America products, but honestly, you don't even know where to start. We understand your guys' frustration of being stuck to the big box stores, knowing that most of your products come from overseas, mainly China. This mission and movement is dedicated to empowering individuals like you that are sick and tired of the status quo. It's about getting back to our roots of supporting our own and buying American-made products and rallying behind local businesses. Products that rely on plant-derived biodegradable ingredients that are much safer for you your home, and the environment. By joining the movement, you're not only contributing to the local economy, you're also contributing to the strength and resilience of our nation. We're on a mission and building a movement, but the thing is, we can't do it alone. We need your help. This is an opportunity for you to contribute while still being able to manage around your schedule and while making some good side income. There are a few requirements. First, you must be in the United States or Canada. Second, you must be at least 18 years old. Third, you need basic phone, computer, or tablet skills. That's it. We're just looking for people that share our passion of supporting American-made products and businesses where and when you can. Just a genuine desire to make a difference when and where you can. You might be thinking, me, me, I fit the bill. I can do it, I can do it. How can I help? How can I be a part of this mission? Let me tell you, you'll be working with us and our crew to connect other communities to spread awareness about this movement. This is a chance to be a part of something bigger, to contribute something that matters. If you're sick and tired of spending all your hard earned money at the big box stores where they get all their products from overseas and all they do is keep on sending all their profits back overseas. Then we're asking you to join the movement and join us for a Zoom call this Saturday. There are very limited spots, so definitely go in the link down in the description below and sign up before our meeting time. The registration is open all week, but if you don't register before the day of the meeting, you won't be able to join and you're gonna miss out on this amazing opportunity. So again, check out the link down in the description below. Make sure to register, do it right now. Don't forget to pause it, go register, come back, finish watching this video. You don't wanna miss this guys, I promise. If you don't know how to use Zoom, that's no problem. You're right here on YouTube and there are a ton of videos right here on this platform teaching you how to use Zoom. There are zero tech skills required. But your guys' participation is crucial and we cannot do this without your help. Together, we can build a stronger, more connected community that puts America first once again. Together, we can make a difference. We can't wait to see you guys on Zoom this Saturday, 11 o'clock, mark your calendars. Can't wait to see you guys then. Now let's get back to our video. Well, I got all of the pieces Gary wanted me to cut, cut out. Check out my pile. Dang, man, that's a lot of wood. Now that I got all of the pieces to the puzzle ready, the only thing left to do is start smashing them together.
Yeah. ahead and finished marking out all the boards uh, so we can go ahead and continue on the build and uh, slap together these walls. But before we do that, Gary is already taking the liberty to mark the wall and get it perfectly straight because we're going to have to cut into this roof so we could stand up some of the walls. So this is where the wall, the outside corner is going to be meeting. All right. Mm -hmm. We're about five and a half inches, this guy's gonna have to end up going, regardless. But how far do I need to go that way? How far do I need to go that way? In all reality, I have no idea. However, I do know I'm gonna put sheathing on this side. So I'm just gonna go straight back, flush with the inner wall, not the outer sheathing, because we still need to trim this a little bit. And this is a huge part why we didn't put pieces up here yet, just, just yet. So now it's the fun time of cutting everything and getting it to where we can do everything. But yeah, I've got to sort of try to figure out what's plumb going that way and really hope I don't take off too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because wood doesn't really just magically grow. I mean, it might. It might. Yeah the point of no return Gary's gonna start chopping into this thing and uh you know ready or not and here we, come. Here we go <laughs> I guess okay I mean so if I put this thing up on the wall and I just go ahead and mark up here with a dot I'm not gonna be able to screw exactly plumb either so I'm gonna want to come back my screw head's going to be off a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to come out of angle just a bit, and that will pop a hole for me to have an idea of where I'm at. And I hope it ain't too far that way. This is where my OCD is going to kill me. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't expect you to. But anywho, 
neither there, n neither here nor there. Let's see where that's going to be. And I'm going a half an inch wider on this side than what I need, mainly because I'm going to have to cut off this side anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I've got to cut it off, I might as well. This whole piece, right? This whole eave overhang from this line right here by this window to the line that's on the other side by the other window. So like this chunk right here of eave is all going to have to go. However, because we are not ready to do the roof on here yet completely, um, we still have a few other things that we're going to need to do before we can do um, the roof and like the roof joists and all that. We decided that we're only going to cut out just like a little cut out little hole that we can slide the wall into. And we're going to leave this eave, um, I guess, in front of this window and the door just for now. It is going to be coming off fully, but we decided we're going to leave it for now because the weather's unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen. It only gives us one little point um, of entry and just all that, right? Yep. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing. But it is going to still end up coming off, uh, you know, before it's all said and done. Yep. It's going to be a very, very interesting. I'm not going to lie. Every little bit that we're going into this, I'm like, yep, this is going to happen. And it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be, all right, it's off. Now we got to rush. Yeah. Let's go, 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 go. go, go. go, go. <laughs> Good thing is, is if I screw up this little tiny bit, I'll know, and I can adjust when I do the full cut. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So in all reality, I'll probably end up having to cut out, coming out probably closer to like right here. I won't know until it comes down to the time that doing all the eaves and everything. For the roofing. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't have to, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? We'll see. I'm, this is the first time, you know, me or you have ever built anything, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated. A little tricky. A little tricky. And yes, we could have gotten engineered trusses with all this design, but if we did that, we would have had a way different design. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> and it probably would have been out of budget, too. Correct. We're doing a build on a budget, friends. wasn't too bad. No. I think you made it more complicated in your mind because of the... The way everything's gonna have to get together and put together. Well, and the what ifs, right? And mm -hmm. like the, we don't want to make oopsies and... Oopsies. Yeah, I know. I put a hole in my roof. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. So, there's that. Sweet. All right, one down, one more to go. Or... Am I too far back? No.
now that we got those holes cut, let's build these walls. Okay. You there? Yep, I'm on it. One. Yeah, I'm on it. This one's gonna be that stud side, this forward, leaving out, and then it's gonna be double king. And then this stud over here on this side. Right now. You want me to hit this up? Yep. You can hit that thing up with the nail. I'm going to yeah. back side with the screws and you can do three nails into it. And be careful with the, the angle. You don't want to nail it to the floor. All right, give me the hammer too, though, because this thing's still not like going all the way. There you go. That's good. There's probably something caught up in it. You're going to do the middle. You're going to do all of them, right? Yep.
till I'm gone I don't need anybody Only you, you can lift me up And the truth is I'm falling oh, 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 oh. I'll be there till I'm gone Solid gold, baby. Nice and firm up. Solid gold that way. Oh, that might be off that way. This is the one to check for that way.
long day, friends. That was a long day. A lot of back and forth on that one. But man, it looks so good. Look at that, guys. It's going to be really, really nice when it's all said and done. Yes. Now, we still have some things left to do. Uh, we still got to finish by putting in all the headers that we made nope. for the windows in the front and then also on the sides. Um, we've got to put in some of the cripples on the side walls. Nope. And that's about it. Pretty much it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's looking <laughs> better and better each and every little bit that we were working at it. Yeah. The sunlight is uh, going away. And yeah. It's going to be dark here, like really, really dark here. We have in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, I was going to say we have like maybe 15 <laughs> minutes left and then it's going to be like dark, dark. I yeah. think we underestimated how dark it's getting earlier. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, I was honestly thinking we were still going to have like another hour or two. And if we had another hour or two, we, we would, would have had all of yeah. the pieces in there, minus the sheathing. But it's all good. It's all good. We uh, we rocked it today. Heck this yeah, is super man. Super awesome. It was just flat, and now there's like walls up, so yeah. I'm excited about it. Super awesome. It's uh, changing the whole feel around here. Yeah, it's starting to take shape. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it like Gary said, and like you guys can see, it is uh, it's getting dark. Yeah. Sun's going down. So I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We're going to be back at it here um, on the next one. So until then, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later.